Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. for today is August 28, 2024. The moment of truth is coming and video earning just came up after hours. And it's kind of like a coming exactly with my gut feeling, not my analysis that I think that I, I, I was I was thinking of despite a good earnings market will react in negative. And today we just got so far a negative a feedback from the market and market just uh, pushed the price down actually 3.60% to the downside. Right now it is after hours, it is at 121. But I should say tomorrow is going to be the next day and the next day uh, market is going to digest uh, everything. And um, it doesn't mean that uh, when after hours right now it is negative, tomorrow is going to open negative as well. So tomorrow we will have pre-market and also pre-market uh, we may see a gap down and market just uh, hiking the price higher. But I should say negative uh, sentiment is kind of like a dominating the market right now, specifically for um, uh, NASDAQ and all big techies. So let's get to the chart. So here is S&P 500 daily chart. And as you see here, after hours, uh, we just got a negative pressure to the market. The market is just going down again, test this 50 56, uh, 5560. And uh, just uh, holding up very nicely, like the last time we just hold it up here. So if it breaks through, I should say market can go all the way down here to 54 to 5500, which is the level that I'm looking for. Market shows some reaction. So if we get to, as I said, 54 to 5500. So we can see some kind of like a reaction to the market and market just to show a bounce. So this can happen in September and specifically the first, uh, first week of September, we will see kind of like a volatility is gonna pick up and market can go up and down. However, uh, as I said, October 15, this is my cycle, very important one, October 15 to November 15, that is my kind of like a danger zone for, uh, for S&P 500 and also for the other names. But right now, we don't see any kind of like a bullish consolidation breakout or even breakdown. We just uh, still within this uh, range. And as long as we are within this range, we should just give market benefit of doubt uh, for a price higher. However, stochastic, MACD, and also RSI is just showing the weakness to the market and can go down when a stochastic, specifically in a daily chart, shows that the bear reversal, it just happened today, actually two days ago, and we are kind of like a confirming today. But we need to see more price action follow through down the road to see if it can go a lower low to 54 to 5,500. So we will see how it goes with this name, S&P 500. Moving on to NASDAQ, which was a leader to the downside these days. So NASDAQ is going down. And um, the next level that I'm waiting for NASDAQ is 19,000. Even it can go lower to 18,600. So that's the level that I'm looking at. If we go to a uh, two hour chart, um, so this is two hours chart that I'm just uh, paying attention. The lots of institution names are sitting here at least for a nice bounce. So this is 18,800 to 19,100. So we kind of like a pretty close to this, potentially tomorrow, we will see some kind of like a jump. And if you see some kind of like a reaction specifically tomorrow or when, uh, or Friday, we shouldn't be surprised at all. So we can see some kind of like a higher uh, price is coming specifically for Friday, and we can get to this level, which is showing kind of like the weakness trend, and we can get a lower high again for a decisive time. So we can get to this uh, flag limit as well here. So this is a support. This is a demand area that uh, we break through to the downside. Right now, it is very, very important supply. So if you want to just to put in our chart here, we should just to mention this area. This is are, uh, this is going to be the next area that we should just uh, be careful about this. So 19,400 to, um, to uh, let me just uh, put it there. Here's the deadline and uh, to 19,300. So this is the area. 
that is very important. As long as NASDAQ is below this, we can see the downside, downside move is coming down the road. Uh, moving on to uh, US 30, which is Dow, so actually performing better today. Dow Jones just forming um, ha a hanging man here, just at the top. It's kind of like the same uh, pattern like hammer, but hammer usually forms at the bottom. Hanging man is at the top. So uh, right now it's just consolidating, holding up very well this demand area. If Dow gets down, I should say, we can see more downside movies coming down the road to 39,000 area. So right now Dow holding up very well, money is flowing into uh, banks and also uh, healthcare names, which is a safe haven for now. Moving on to gold, um, which was negative today. So gold is coming down, uh, still uh, forming. Uh, this is kind of like uh, ascending wedge here. And uh, this is not the ideal scenario for breakout. So we should just uh, see more consolidation. More consolidation here, the more price can go after breakout. Right now, uh, it's just sitting here. Uh, as long as gold is above 2,500, I should say, we should just uh, give a bullish sentiment or bullish momentum to this. If it goes below 2,500 and it stays there one day or two days, specifically 24, I should say, 70. So if it gets below this, I should say gold is just losing its momentum and it can go lower uh, in price potentially to 2200 um, next time. But I'm kind of like a very bullish in gold, as, I, as you know, uh, bullish in gold and also silver as well. I know silver hammered today, silver just at 2%, 2.79% to the downside. So this is coming down and we are kind of like expecting this. Um, for this correction. So the next time if silver gets down here to oversold condition, a bull reversal, and if it get here somewhere around 27 to $28, that is kind of like a fantastic QM pattern here. If you see this top and we break through, we are just coming down. If momentum is helping us, we can get a fantastic buying opportunity somewhere around here for a next buying opportunity all the way up to 32 to 34 dollar per ounce. So we're waiting for silver to just coming back to our level to get uh, more uh, into this name. Moving on to crude, uh, which is uh, down today as well. So crude, uh, even geopolitical tensions and news in Libya, uh, it doesn't help out as well. So crude is just getting down. It's just very, very technically uh, reacting nicely. And uh, we can see the final spike low. And I'm waiting for this long time, the final spike low to this area. So we will see how far it can get through, but 61 to 69. So this 60 channel is very, very important because if it gets there, the lower the better for, for me to get um, into crude with two hands, basically. This is fantastic level, folks. This is very, very good level. And I don't think crude is gonna crash um, next year or so, crude is going to just going higher. Inflation is going to come back. And I know that lots of people are saying, hey, inflation is done. No, unfortunately, my cycles and also the price of all commodities, crude, silver, wheat, oats, corn. If you uh, have a look at those ones, they're just at the bottom. And um, yeah, bottom can go lower, but uh, not that much because still we will have demand. And when inflation is coming back, all those charts are going to spike up. Um, next year or so. So we will see how it goes with these names. Moving on to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down today, uh, $210 right now. So it's still uh, holding up this consolidation, 58,000, 59,000. But if Bit uh, can't hold above 56, it can easily go down to 48,000. Ethereum goes back up uh, 3%, not a bad session. I don't know if it's going to be just a drop base, a drop or kind of like a drop base and then rally to the upside. This is very, very important. As long as Ethereum is above this pivot, which is 2100, it's okay. But the pattern, to be honest, is not that bullish at all. So the pattern the chart is very weak. So we'll uh, see how it goes. Bond yield, just another negative day today, four cents down. So bond yield is forming H pattern. I believe uh, the next drop is going to go all the way down to 3.20%. TLT treasuries uh, goes down today as well, so 12 cents. Um, this one has inverse correlation with bond yield. 
but market has like a fear. So when you see bond is down, bond yield is down, gold is down, stock is down, this means fear is here. And that's why Dixie was positive today. So nice rebound for Dixie and an important pivotal point. So this is very, very important pivotal point. We can see some liquidation happens next days or two, um, but, um, but it's not going to be that much. So 102, that's going to be the maximum level that they have. VIX 10% up today, $17. I believe VIX is bottom here, and we can see 25, 26 is coming in September again. Magma indicator going down today, even after hours it took hit, after NVIDIA earning, it can go to 1400. Apple goes down, after hours goes down as well. So upper higher high, higher low. But today it's kind of like a possible scenario for a rollover um, scenario to the downside. So we will see if it rolls over to below 220, that is very, very important. 220 for Apple is important because if it goes below this, easily 208 and then 200 level is coming. Amazon $2.32 down today. And even after hours, it took hit 169.69. What a number. So it can go lower. Meta goes down $2.32 down, rolled over already. Microsoft, this chart is six folds, uh, 410 and 407 after hours. Google, it goes down as well. So $1.83 down. And uh, this is kind of like an ABC scenario. We can see lower low for all big techies, I should say, down the road, especially in months of September. Netflix reversal to the downside. This bullish consolidation seems like fails if it fails this one can go very lower and uh, this is kind of like the top for netflix a tesla going down today uh three dollar 46 cents down if it goes below 200 guys tesla can go easily down to 167 to 187 so this is the area that i'm looking at right now tesla is holding up just because of this mini demand area which was not successful at all, it goes higher. And right now it is this triangle. So if this one goes down below 200 level, again, Tesla can easily go down um, sub 200 level. SMH, Semiconductor Index, it goes down today. After hours, it just lost another $5 due to NVIDIA earning. Socks, the same pattern here, goes down. Taiwan Semiconductor goes down as well today, AMD just at 2.75%, even after hours it took a hit. NVIDIA, nicely bullish consolidation fails so far. So we should just uh, give NVIDIA below 120, still holding up pretty well. So still bulls are there, but uh, we will see how it goes tomorrow. If NVIDIA goes below 118, remember my video, if NVIDIA goes below 118, I should say NVIDIA can easily go back down 106, 110, and then even lower to this area, $76. So uh, I know it's a scary, but NVIDIA can go bad. When it goes bad, it can go very bad. So right now, um, market doesn't have a positive reaction and uh, watch 118. So $118 for NVIDIA is very, very important level. Texas Instrument, uh, just reversing at the top here, $2.95 down. Lamb Research goes down. This one is very obvious that you're going to see potentially this bottom or even take out this bottom to 640, which is good level, to be honest, if you want to get in. Moving on to banks, uh, XLF, new all-time high today. Nice price action, still going higher. Bond yield is down. Banks are going to be beneficiary of this. KBE going higher, 42 cents up. KRE, 49 cents up today. Not a bad session. JP Morgan, new all-time high today, $1.11. And uh, this one uh, goes higher uh, nicely. Goldman Sachs at $3.93 down. After hours, it's just uh, going higher as well. Bank of America, positive session. As I said, Dow is better just because banks, healthcare, and some industrial names actually did very well today. Uh, Wells Fargo, 81 cents up. Still laggard, but positive session. Moving on to the gold miner, GDX, um, 86 cents down. Um, after hours took a hit. I think 36, 37 is coming down the road. GDXJ, dollar 18 cents 
uh, down today. This one, 42 to 43, that's very, very important level as well. AEM it goes down, especially after hours it just hit. New month, 87 cents down. Franco Nevada, $2.90 down. And uh, gold, uh, 50 cents down. Uh, all, I should say, um, they're kind of like in a corrective period. Moving on to XLE, which is uh, coming down, Doji Bar. This is my uh, cycle for XLE that I have. I actually did my analysis, 58 cents down. Not a bad session overall, uh, but uh, these names can go a final low before the next rally to the upside. XOP, the same pattern here. It's just uh, going down. Um, but buyers came back a bit. OIH, the same pattern here, just gap down and uh, sellers took control almost the entire session. Exxon goes down, Chevron goes down as well. So Chevron can go all the way down to 130 to 136 for a next buying opportunity. So we will see how it goes. All right, folks, uh, Nvidia still time is not over for that one. Potentially tomorrow we will have nice spicy day for a stock market. So we'll see how it goes. Buyers are going to come back or they're going to just push the price more down to 118 even below that. Have a fantastic evening, folks. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.